this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 19 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Alright, we were working on uh, this little connection here. So, convert it to an editable poly. Select this polygon. Um, inset it. By about 0.053. And then bevel it um, inward, so it creates a little socket-like thing, All right? And then go to the move tool, change it to local, and just drag it down and match it up to the second thing. All right, looks good. And next, just copy it and make sure you have angle snap on. Go into the left view. Of course, go into the front view, I guess. And just rotate it until it's flat. You can take angle snap off, actually. Okay. Go back into perspective. Put it down. Um, rotate 180 degrees, actually. Alright. Uh, move tool and just drag it right in place. Okay. And slide it to the other one as well. That way we have some nice little connections. Alright. And let's see, we can put. edge and this edge and the loop and then select that edge, that edge, that edge, and this edge, chamfer, and point one looks good. Alright, and let's select these two things and just go in the I guess, and copy them over. Alright. And copy them to the left. Just try to guess. Um, I mean, you won't get it perfect, but it's close enough. Um, let's. there. We can, let's see, um, I guess we can start working on a little platform-like thing up here. So, create a box, just do it on, just make sure auto grid's on, do it on a flat surface. Alright, change the color to gray, and just bring it up, and let me hide this thing, okay, go into the, let's see, front view, and align it with this. position, I guess. Okay, go back into perspective. And, let's see. Convert it to an editable poly. Select this side. And let's just drag it back. I'm 
gonna have to be doing a lot of guessing on this because there are actually no views of it. But I think I'll make it. So let's see. Just kinda even it out on both sides. Okay. Back into perspective. Let's actually select this and make it a bit thicker. So bring it down. All right. Next, we're going to want to create a cylinder, just right here. Rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Um, align it with the center. So just the X position, and go into the front viewport here and just increase the size quite a bit, or the radius because we're going to cut half of it off spread it about there seems good and increase the height make it see through so you can figure out where you're aligning it to alright, actually we're going to have to bring this up a bit so that it goes above those things. Select these, revert all the vertices, and just scale it to about there. And then just move it so it's equal. And then move this so it's equal as well. Alright. So convert that, actually increase the sides to about 26 so we get a nice quality mesh convert it to an editable poly and select all these verts and let's just scale them out of it to about here okay alright, select these edges, connect give it two segments and increase the pinch to about uh, 41 then still with those select segments selected uh, chamfer it with a chamfer of about 0 0.06 select these internal polygons here and just uh, go into perspective and scale them on the Z Y axis just to give it a bit of an indent there. Looks rather nice. And then we can bring it back there. Make this gray. Alright. Um, connect and put and two sec uh, two segments and a pinch of about negative nine select just the polygons in the center make sure you deselect all of those okay and extrude on your local normal by about point six okay Next, you're going to want to just align it a bit better. Okay. Um, go into the front view. Align with that just in the X, yeah, X and Y position. All right. And let's lower this. Actually, let's just scale this outward. We'll redo it. Um, and then select the top polygon here and move it up. Uh, that'll be it for part 19. I'll see you in part 20.